okay, what are three names for the angle in 83? Well, you could call it angle 2 because it's got a number there. Okay. You can also call it angle J because there's only one angle coming off of it, which means that by saying angle J, naming the vertex point, there's no confusion about which angle you're talking about because there's only one coming off of J. So you could say angle 2, you could say angle J. By the way, if you think that the angle symbol looks too much like a letter, you can do that. Kind of looks cool. And that's a little bit more uh, you know, obvious what it is that you're talking about. You also can always name an angle with three points. Okay, Starting at one of the, a point on one of the rays, I, going through the vertex, J, and then out the other ray through one of the points, K. Or you could also do it in the other direction. So as long as we started at K, had as the middle letter the vertex, always that's a requirement. And then out to I, it's another way of naming it. So three names, you can pick from any of those four for your three. Okay. What are uh, two other names for angle two? Oh, and sorry, they, yeah. So what are the two other names for angle two? We can't use the two because they already named it for 84. Okay. And we can't use, we can't say angle M. Hopefully you understand why we can't do that because there's multiple angles coming off of M. So we have to name it with three points. So we could say angle, uh, and I see that that image is a little bit cut off, but let's say that this said J right there, okay, just for the sake of argument, because it's a little bit hard to see. Then we could say, okay, then it would be angle J, M, K, here, coming from here, through the vertex point for angle 2 and back out there, the other ray. Or we could also call it angle, and we could come from, the other end. Instead of J, M, K, we can start at K, go through M, and get out to J. So K, M, J. Yeah? That's how you do it.